Hey guys, I'll be doing a review of travel size guitars that are available. You have the Cordoba Mini, the Washburn Rover, the Martin, the Traveler guitar, and the Donner Hush 1. We'll be unboxing them and taking a look. So first off is the Donner Hush 1. It comes with a guitar strap, earphones, battery, guitar tuner. This is the way that it comes brand new to you covered up like this and she really is beautiful I mean the design and the quality is just absolutely outstanding you have all the dial knobs here for volume low and high pitch uh, jack for a speaker jack for the headphones a couple of picks added to it and then these extension pieces that make it into pretty much a full-size guitar To put in those extension pieces, all you have is a screw in the back and the guitar has an allen key that comes with it and you just tighten it and those things are fastened in. When you don't want it anymore and you want to travel and put it back, you can just undo it. Here's the earphones that it comes with because you can plug it into the guitar to hear yourself play. This guitar is the Traveler electric version very very compact really great travel size guitar later on in the video we'll test it out and we'll see how it plays and the sound of it this one also has an extension piece to rest on your lap definitely helpful for these compact ones this here is the acoustic electric version of the traveler guitar so you could also plug this into an amplifier as well, very similar to the electric one. I didn't really find much of a difference between the two. Um, this one also has the extension piece to rest on your leg, which is great though. This one is the Martin. The Martin Backpacker. This is what comes with it. It has a strap. That's pretty much it. As you can tell, the bag is very large, unnecessarily large. Kind of takes away from how small the guitar is, which is a bit of a bummer. Here is the Washburn Rover. This one came in used, but a new one goes for $279. It didn't have any saddle with it, so I had to put a, a saddle on the bridge. And I had a get my own guitar strap as well and you can see the case is very large hard shell case kind of defeats the purpose of it being a travel size guitar this is the Cordoba mini definitely not mini in comparison to the others I wouldn't really consider this a travel size guitar So we have the Cordoba Mini. It's way too big to even be considered a travel size guitar. We have the Washburn. This one came in used, so I don't know typically how the factory sends it. This is the Martin Backpacker. It comes with a strap. However, it's extremely abrasive and you're going to need to change it immediately. And then you have two Traveler guitars. This one is electric, this one is acoustic, but to be honest with you, they both kind of don't emit a very loud sound. They sound very similar. And then at the very end, you have the Hush Donner, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is an electric guitar, travel size electric guitar. By far, out of this whole variety, this is the coolest one. They put so much effort into the design and the quality. It's just super awesome. I'm on the market for a travel size acoustic, so unfortunately this won't work for what I'm looking for. However, I wish it definitely was what I wanted uh, because it is so stinking awesome. 
they have a headphone jack and you can put your headphones in it and you can hear yourself play and it has an uh, an allen key a spot for an allen key right there i don't think i'm really finding what i'm looking for in these options of guitars i think i think it would have to be the washburn for acoustic nylon that is what i'm looking for you can hear how loud it is in comparison to everything else you have the cordoba mini So this one comes with its battery and it has phase button, volume, low, high, one for speakers, one for headphones, and then you have this slot for the Allen key and that's because these tuning knobs are really difficult to turn so they give you an Allen key so you can, um, you can put it in there and uh, tune it as needed. And then on the bottom, you have the jack. So it's a really beautiful guitar, and it's beautifully designed. I just wish it was an acoustic guitar that emitted a loud sound, because that's what I'm looking for. However, I'll, I'll play it in case there's anybody that's looking for something like this. It rests very comfortably. Not like the Washburn. The Washburn, the body is so tiny and it doesn't have any supports. So you have to always wear the uh, strap with it so you can support it. Yeah, it's not very loud. So this one is the Traveler. This one also comes with an attachable piece to help you rest it. It's very good uh, position-wise. It feels comfortable. The uh, jack is on the back. The jack is on the back. <laughs> So unlike the Hush guitar, this one doesn't have any knobs to adjust high pitch or low pitch or to have a phase or anything like that. It's simple to the point. There's no volume knob either, so you would have to adjust it from your amplifier. So yeah, I had to tune this, and I have rather small fingers, but these tuning knobs were actually kind of challenging to twist with such a tiny space. Um, for my needs, I'm not too crazy about this guitar. So this is the acoustic version of the Traveler guitar, but it's also acoustic electric. And it has a jack at the back there. To be honest, I don't know why they would have the two versions, the electric and the acoustic electric. Unplugged, they sound almost the same if it wasn't for the strings. Uh, plugged in, you could be the judge of that, I don't know. So it sounds pretty much like the electric one, um, it doesn't give off a loud sound, it's very toned down, you can hardly hear it to be honest. 
Um, it's comfortable, that's for sure. I'm not too crazy about this guitar because it doesn't emit a very loud sound. Can you even hear it? I can't even hear it. So here's the Martin Traveler. You can already tell that there's nothing to set down on your leg to raise it up to play, so definitely you have to wear the strap. And like I mentioned earlier, the strap is like a crazy abrasive, so you're going to need to get your own strap. And even still, it's really uncomfortable. The neck is so heavy, so whenever you let go, it just kind of flops down like that. Let's see if maybe we tighten this. So the strap has to be really tight and you're always going to need to rest your arm on the corner. Out of all the guitars that qualify as a travel size guitar, so far the Martin Backpacker emits the loudest sound for acoustic. So you have the tuning pegs here, it makes it really easy to just tune the guitar. Uh, not like the Traveler, such a small, tight space, and not like the Hush electric guitar because it requires an Allen key to adjust it. too crazy about the sound that it makes. It's kind of an unclean sound, like I don't know how else to say it. I don't know if you can hear that. There's like static with it or something. This is the Washburn, Washburn Rover, and same issue like the Martin Backpacker, the neck where the tuning pegs are is the heaviest part so it's always going to slide down like that. You're going to need to have a strap as well, even when you're sitting down. I'll just tighten this. So already the neck feels like a much higher quality than the Martin Backpacker. In fact, the guitar entirely, it is way more quality finish and quality feel than the Martin Backpacker. The Martin Backpacker gives off a much louder sound for sure, but I would say it's louder and less quality. This one... It kind of feels like a regular guitar and sounds like a regular nylon guitar, whereas the Martin Backpacker, there's something off about it. So as far as acoustic travel size guitars go, I like the Washburn the most. Better than the Martin Backpacker, better than the Traveler guitar. Um, however, the case for this is a hard case and it's huge and it's ridiculous. And uh, it didn't come with a strap, which is fine, but we'll just put that in there. And here's the Cordoba Mini for anyone who's interested. It's definitely not a travel size guitar. It's smaller than a regular one. 
foot. So if you're looking for a travel size guitar, definitely don't even consider the Cordoba Mini. It's not really a Mini. And if you're looking for electric, for sure go with the Donner, 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 Hush, the Donner, 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 Hush, the Donner, whatever. You know, this guitar. I'm not a fan of the Traveler guitar. The acoustic is the same as the electric. Blah, blah, blah. The, the Martin Backpacker is a cheaper quality version of the Washburn Rover. The Washburn Rover is very nicely finished. However, the Martin Backpacker does emit a louder sound. And then you can hear this one. I love this guitar. This one's so awesome. Definitely worth the money. Definitely. Anyways, that's it. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I was looking for a video like this for a travel size guitar, so I figured I'd put this out there for anybody else that's also in the same kind of situation.